All right, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get this lesson started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Peace and blessings also to you, sincere Akim and Akwata, out there diligently laboring in his truth and all righteousness and sincerity, occupying in the prophecies until our Lord Yahweh Shai returned and redeem us. So it's the brother Azariah back once more with another lesson going into prophecy. And recently, there's been a lot of common conversation going on, very serious uh, conversation going on within, you know, uh, the heads of these governments dealing with the UAPs. Now, they, you know, why are they, are they talking about this all of a sudden so fervently? You know, the reason why really is because they're afraid, they're scared, because they understand that these are the vehicles that are going to be used to destroy, take down their kingdom. You see, we know these so-called UFOs and UAPs as the chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, with our brothers that are in there, you know, the angels of, of the Most High, you know, and these devils know that as well, you know, the, the elites, now the peon people, they don't know what's going on, but the elites of these different nations of Babylon the Great, uh, Moab, Ishmael, you see, they all know what these things are, and they've known about this for a very, very long time. You see, but what they've done is they've uh, uh, skewed the narrative. You see, they've wrote this off in times past as something that shouldn't be taken seriously. This is just a, a C theory. Anyone that talks about it, you're bugged out. You don't know what you're talking about, right? You don't need to be taken seriously. But we see now in today's time, these things are being talked about very, very seriously among the heads of these governments. They just had uh, uh, in uh, the, the U.S. Congress, I believe, a... Um, debriefing last week where, where they were discussing UAPs as a threat to national security. So they taking this thing very serious right now, man. Like this, this, this is not a game, but it also shows you how close we are to the end because these things are ramping up and increasing. Brothers be seeing, you know, chariots all the time. You know what I'm saying? So how much more so these devils and these things are really a scourge unto them, man. You know what I'm saying? These things, these, these uh, 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 chariots are really a plague unto uh, Esau because he's seeing it and he knows exactly what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is why he knows that he has but a short time left. You know, so what I want to do is I want to get into this article here. This is from um, News Nation. And it says, reports, Russian warplanes chase shot at dozens of UAPs. So now these devils talking about they shooting at UAPs now. They even talking about they recovered uh, 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 bodies, right? They talking about they've recovered bodies and they reverse engineered the the, the, the uh, craft, which which all that is just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like Esau, once again, you know what I'm saying? Esau is trying to make it seem like he's so high and mighty to where he can actually take down the the the, the you know chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Well, when you consider it, these chariots have unlimited capabilities, man. Like. They say that they seen chariots going into the sun, <laughs> going to the moon and, you know, stopping on a dime, disappearing and reappearing. Like, how can you, if you claim to, to, to see this, right, how can you claim that you shooting them down and you recovering bodies? Like, obviously, this, this technology is so much higher than what, what you even have in your possession. You wouldn't even be able to get close to it. You can't do nothing with that. You know what I'm saying? So Esau, once again, trying to control the narrative, trying to make it seem like he's God, as if he can shoot down the chariots, re, you know, reverse engineer, do whatever, all this BS, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take what this devil was saying with, 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 with a grain of salt. But we know for sure that they definitely are seeing and, and you know, having interactions with these so-called UAPs or the chariots. So this um, this is going into Russian warplanes. So, so the Russian military are encountering these UAPs and they're claiming that they've shot at dozens of them. So it goes down here and it says, uh, following last week's historic congressional hearings surrounding the U.S. government's knowledge of UAPs, new reports provide insight into how other countries are handling UAP incidents. The Russian military and their government are not only researching UAPs but also encountering them. According to a letter by investigative journalist George Knapp, which was entered into the congressional record. The letter claims on 45 different occasions, the Russian military sent fighter jets to try and chase UAPs and shoot them down in some cases. All right, so hey, 
they talking about it, we're, we're, we're sending our aircraft against these UAPs and we're shooting them down, we're shooting at them, you know what I'm saying? America is claiming that they've actually shot them, you know, shot some of them down and actually have taken, uh, 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 um, you know, bodies from, from uh, the crash. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, like really, this goes way back with Esau. This, this goes back to, like, Roswell, even before that, when Esau was claiming, yeah, you know, it's top secret, we got bodies and all this. But, you know what I'm saying? Once again, you got to take what the devil say with, with a, a, you know, very small, minute grain of salt, man. All right, so it says here, um, Russia's program is likely the biggest investigation ever undertaken. Thousands of case files were accumulated. Nearly all of the witnesses who were interviewed were military personnel. Many of the incidents described to me by the program's director, Colin Salaki, uh, Colonel Boris Sokolov, were alarming. Knapp said in part in his letter. So, hey, these devils... These 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 nations are once again being plagued by the chariots. All right, and this is all of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, because this is a a threat. It really, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a threat to Esau. You know what I'm saying? This, this this is a threat to the Edomites, to the Moabites, all these other nations, to let them know that their time is coming to an end. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the Most High is manifesting His power within the earth, man. See, all these nations are about to learn. The true power of the heavens and earth is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah once again because these nations have waxed extremely proud to where they've they've they forgotten. They've they've actually gotten proud against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Like they they doing all kind of stuff, man. Wasn't it China uh, that just uh, created or, or um, launched a uh, artificial sun? Like like why do you need to launch an artificial sun when there's already one there? But that goes into once again. They want to be the most high. See, they 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 want to overtake the most high. You see? Because they know that the most high is not for them. So therefore, they're 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 anti. See, they they are anti Hamashiach, they're anti Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So everything that they're doing right now is in an effort to rebel against the natural order that the Heavenly Father has set up. You know what I'm saying? But what they know is coming is the end of their kingdom, the end of their rulership, the end of the time of the Gentiles. All right, so let me go here to the book of Luke, chapter 21, and let's get 25. And it says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity. And are, are these nations not perplexed, right? They're talking about, oh, these, these UAPs are... Uh, a threat to national security. Well, hold on. So why do you think Trump created uh, the uh, Space Force years ago? Like, matter of fact, that was one of the first things that he did when he got into office, man. The, one of the first things that he did was create the Space Force. Why? And he said, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember back then, like, he said that that was, you know, one of the main pressing issues that he had to, you know, get under control when he came into office is to create a Space Force to, to police <laughs> space man you know so hey, he, hey he, Esau is crazy man like these devils really believe that they can fight against Yahweh and that they're gonna win and they even you know subconsciously showing you that because they, they're telling you that we've shot down craft and that we have bodies so so what is that? that that's basically telling you that you know Esau basically trying to tell you that yeah we we have overcame the most high <laughs> you know we have overcome the most high so hey really what, what they trying to say is you know the most high technology isn't all that great because we can shoot it down we can we can you know kill the angels so we can defeat the most high but again man you know this is nothing more than you know the most high allowing these devils to build their pride up until you know what the lord gonna come back and finally put them down for good you know hey the scriptures say that all those that are proud and lofty shall be brought low in the day of destruction, man. So, hey, all that pride and love that these nations have, you know what I'm saying, all that, all that pride and pompous attitude that they have towards the Most High, hey, the Most High is going to do away with that, man. All right, the Most High is about to humble a lot of these nations. This is verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear. All of this, oh, we need to, you know, national security threat, you know, we need to, to you know, put together a, a space force, you know, we need to do this, we need to do that. What's that? Men's hearts failing them for fear, man. Okay, great fear is falling upon these nations for the things that they're seeing, the signs that they're seeing in the earth, man. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth.
for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud now that cloud is referring to here in this verse it's referring to a yahweh shah about to come on a big father ship man okay a huge chariot that's going to blot out the sun okay that's why the scriptures say that every eye shall behold the lord when he returns all right every single eye man you know coming in a cloud with power and great glory so hey when yahweh shah come back he's not he's not going to meet these nations as a man see he's not coming humble like like he did on the first go around you know the first go around the lord came he was he was he was humble you know what i'm saying like uh he came to do the will of his father hey but hey yahweh shah when when he come back hey he coming back angry all right he coming back angry and he's coming to conquer these nations man you know what i'm saying he, he he's coming back with a sword to do war all right power and great glory and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off not so this is a signal to us the true believers you know the israelites that hey our redemption draw off not you know what i'm saying all these things that you've seen with these nations being perplexed and you know talking about what's going on in space and what's going on over here going on over there right this is also let us know that our redemption draw off not and that you know the lord yahweh bashim yahweh is about to come and redeem us out of our captivity man you know what i'm saying so hey the time is short you know we need to get right continue to stay on that on that narrow path man because hey you see what's going on in the world like every day every month every every year that goes past things get worse and worse and worse you know what i'm saying so hey we're definitely at the end of this thing you know what i'm saying hey you've seen the signs all over the place man you know what i'm saying the most high is manifesting the end right before your very eyes all right, this is uh, Matthew 24 and uh, verse 29. And it says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. See, so this is ultimately what these nations understand is going to happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Yahweh Shah is going to come back with great glory, with great power, man. You know what I'm saying? To do what? To conquer these, these heathen nations, man. To take them out of the rulership and set up his righteous kingdom upon the earth. You see? This, this is all what it's coming to. This is prophecy. You can't, you can't stop this, man. See, these things are already written. All we're doing is, is just playing our part in, in uh, the movie. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't have no control over what happens. All we got to do is is you know play out our our, our lot you know what i'm saying uh, verse 31 and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds now how are we going to be gathered together from the four winds of the earth we're going to be, be getting beamed up in, in into the chariots man that's how you see the chariots are the means of our salvation and the means of the heathen's destruction see so when Yahweh Shah comes back, man, with, with the chariots, guess what? They're going to gather up the elect from the four winds of the earth, man. Take us out of our captivity and bring us back to the land. All right? From one from one end of heaven to the other. All right? So this is what... So this is good news for us. It's bad news for the heathen. Right? This, this is wonderful, great news to hear for us that, hey, our salvation is coming. We about to get out of here. We finally about to be at rest. But it's bad news for Esau and the other nations because for them, it's, it, it ain't nothing but complete hell coming for them. All right? This is Psalm uh, 68 and 17. It says, The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. All right? So, hey, it tell you plain and clear, man. Hey, the chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels, man. All right? So, hey. When, when Yahweh Shah come back, hey, he coming back with the host of heaven. All right, he coming back with thousands of angels, man. Okay, to, to, to subdue the heathen and to beam up the elect. And hey, what's coming upon the earth when Yahweh Shah come back, it's going to be a great, it's lucky, you know what I'm saying? It, it's hey, it's going to be a great destruction, man. Nothing, it tells you, it, it tells you, it tells you that the time is coming upon the earth at the time that's never been seen before and shall never be seen again, man. You know what I'm saying? So, this 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 is a very uh uh you know beautiful time that that we in right now you know what i'm saying and the fact that this topic of uaps and ufos and you know outer space keep popping up it just shows you that esau knows that his demise is near 
And that also means that what is near? The rolling out of the MOTB, everything is set up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got the Fed now. They about to roll out the, uh, uh, um, you know, World Coin. You know what I'm saying? World, yeah, World Coin is out too. I just brought that out the other day in the in in uh, show. World Coin is out. So that means that the MOTB is not that far away. Then what, what's going to come after that? World War Three, man. You see, so hey, everything is like is like dominoes. Like you just knock one down, and everything else is gonna follow after that, man. You know what I'm saying? So hey, the Most High is is playing everything out perfectly according to the scriptures, man. So hey, the scriptures don't lie. The words of Jehovah Bashim Shah are faithful and true. You see, but yeah, hey, the Lord coming back with thousands of the hosts of heaven. You know, the uh, Archangel Michael was also, man. So hey. <laughs> I just wanted to bring that out, you know, just a quick lesson, you know, uh, hopefully it was edifying through the Rakai Kadash. In closing, call the law, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rakai Kadash. And until next time, Shalom to the elect, Kom Yasha'ala DTA, and the Bible Ball. Shalom.